what's good, bro? Today we're gonna have another set of things that you should know if you're a starter scripter in Roblox. Because if you don't, heh, trust me when I say you're gonna get a Haiti. Because outside of the bare basics of scripting, information out there is somewhat hard to find as a starter. So if you've been waiting for a chance to learn more stuff, or even if you haven't, stick around because what I'm about to tell you took me a very, very long time to understand. So what do you say? Shall we get started already? Yeah! Alright, let's get it. Okay, so in this video, you're gonna learn about very important things that you'll be needing for a lot of your games, if not all of them. And the second one is the most important one. So I'm gonna start with the first one because I need more watch time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, you know how hard it is to make a living as a YouTuber, bro? I'm nearly living under a bridge. I'll stop yapping now. So the first thing is actually very important too, and it's actually set network owner. A lot of people don't really understand what this is used for, and this has to do with replication. And I already explained how replication works and all that in my previous video. I'll leave a card on the top right of the screen leading to that video. I recommend you watch that before this one if you haven't, and then just come back. So I'm not gonna say in detail what I mean by replication, but essentially it's the process that your computer performs to get data from the server. Set Network owner allows us to have a specific part of our game be in charge of our computer. In other words, it inverts the replication dynamic for a part that is not like a body part like the arm or the head, etc. Because those are always managed by the client. Okay, so what does this mean in practice and what is it actually used for? Okay, here's the best way I can put it. Let's use a graph. Imagine there is a part in your workspace, right? All parts in the workspace, except for body parts, are always managed by the server. So when your client is copying the server, he asks the server for the details of the part. And then the server gives the client the details. And that's how you're able to see the part. And that's how you're able to see the part also when it moves and all that, when it changes colors, all that. Now, what set network owner does is it inverts this. Instead of the client asking the server what's going on with the part, the server asks the client what what's going on with the part because the client is in charge of it now and you might still be confused and I don't blame you but for the most part simply put this is just used to make sure the projectiles move smoothly because sometimes the server can be slightly laggy or busy and this leads to weird behavior when moving parts with body velocity for example yesterday I was scripting this slash move for my Star Wars inspired game and I forgot to use set network owner to change the ownership of this slash projectile that you're seeing on screen right now and as you can see the slash kind of like stops for a bit when it's spawned and this is how it looks after i used set network owner to change the ownership of the slash projectile to the client that used the move it just makes projectiles and stuff like a lot smoother there might be other applications for this but this has been the only application i've used set network owner for don't freaking cook me in the comments i right? i'm ludius no wikipedia all you gotta do to change the ownership of the part to a client is literally just use columns after the part type in set network owner open parentheses and pass the client you want to be in charge of of the port as an argument and of course make sure you close the parentheses afterwards and that concludes our talk about set network owner let me know in the comments if you understood everything of what i just said the second thing we gotta talk about is also about replication but it's not any integrated function or event that roblox offers it's actually how to solve or how to go around a very common replication error that roblox has well it's not that common but it's common and sometimes when teleporting players a replication issue occurs where the client teleports the character but the server doesn't even if you teleport him using a server script, you will get the same replication issue. And what's dangerous about this is that you probably won't realize that it happened until much later. It can make you lose a lot of time trying to figure out what's causing it once it has happened too and you have noticed it. To graphically represent what's happening here, imagine player A is here, right? And you want him to be over here. You teleport him and he gets teleported. All the players see that he's there, but the server actually thinks that he's still here. It might be somewhat confusing to understand, and I again, I don't blame you, but the major issue this causes is that it misplaces anything that you want to place in relation to your character after that has happened. Let me give you a real example now, again, from a Star Wars inspired game I'm working on. Alright, so I'm gonna perform this slash move I got. Everything seems normal, right? Nothing out of the ordinary. I use a move that teleports me forward, and as you can see, all good. I'm still here. It teleported me and all that. But if I try to do the slashing move again, the VFX, as you can see, is placed over there because that's where the server thinks I am, even though everyone sees me over here. If it gives you a headache, I don't know, man. Just take a pill or something. It's not a super common issue, but it sometimes happens when overriding a character's position using C frame or dot position. And what's crazy is that it's a very simple fix. If you ever get this issue, instead of using dot position or dot C frame to teleport a player, use pivot 2. All you gotta do instead of doing humanoid root part dot C frame 
equals the C-frame where you want him to be, you do human or report colon pivot to and provide the C-frame where you want the character to be as an argument. And that's it. Solved as you can see on screen. All right, bro. So this is going to be the end of the video. Let me know if you want more stuff like this, more quote unquote secret stuff that can be useful to know. Probably going to turn it into a series if I'm being honest. Let me know in the comments what else you want to see me cover. we got a Discord. Join that if you want help or if you just want to be part of a cool community, even though some of the people in there would seriously benefit of visiting a mental health professional and having themselves checked. If you want to know what that means, just join the Discord, bruv. They said, keep leveling up, bro. Be safe and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.